your eyewitness weather forecast. Welcome back everyone on this Saturday evening. Pretty cold day for us, especially as temperatures were stuck well into the 20s and especially when you combine that wind felt like it was into the teens for most of us. Here's a look at the temperatures right now across the board. 24 for us, Wilkes-Barre, Scranton. Good evening, Mount Pocono at 17. 23 for us in Hazleton and currently 26 in Pottsville. Winds are still a little bit gusty. These are sustained winds. You can see those around 10, 15, even up to 20 miles per hour locally higher, especially in those higher ridge tops, especially Mount Pocono where you can see we're at 23 miles per hour there. Still looking for those locally higher gusts as we go throughout this evening, but these winds will start to relax just a little bit more as we go throughout tonight, which will be some good news for us. Here's a look at the radar. You can see we still have a few flurries, even a passing snow shower across the northern tier and out towards central Pennsylvania. But for the most part, we continue to stay pretty quiet this evening. And as high pressure continues to push in towards our area for tonight, we'll start to see that lake effect snow machine kind of settle down and we'll be left with a partly cloudy sky for this evening. Here in Pottsville, you can see we just have a partly cloudy sky as well. Things are pretty quiet for us. No snow on the ground and we are continuing to stay pretty cold as we are going to head into tonight. And by the time you're waking up tomorrow morning, we're talking temperatures well into the teens, lower and mid teens for us. But also when you factor in just a little bit of that wind, though, we'll see those wind chill values into the single digits for us. So for tomorrow, if you're heading out for any plans, definitely cold start tomorrow morning. We're talking temperatures still into the teens. And as we go throughout our day, we'll start to see those clouds breaking for a little bit of sun and we'll see our high is reaching into the upper 20s to near 30 as we go throughout the afternoon. Here's future cast. You can see things remain pretty quiet. Like I mentioned, as we go throughout our Sunday, we'll see those clouds breaking for some peaks of sun. And even into Monday, most of us stay pretty quiet. We continue to stay pretty dry as we head into Monday, but we're still watching the next area of low pressure, which will start to move in. This looks like it will start to move in, especially as we head into Monday night into the day on Tuesday. And this will bring us our next round for some wintry weather. And this will continue, as I say, if we go into Tuesday night, most of this will be coming to an end, especially early Wednesday morning. So here's a little bit of what what we're expecting. Still, the time frame with this hasn't moved too much. We're looking to see this arriving by Monday night into Tuesday. Yes, there will be some accumulating snow with this, and there will be some travel impacts likely, but we're still monitoring this track. We kind of seen those fluctuations still occur as we've gone throughout today, and we will continue to keep you updated as we go throughout the rest of the weekend. Tonight with your eyewitness weather forecast, partly cloudy and cold. Lows are into the teens for us and not as windy. And for tomorrow, not as windy as well, so it won't feel as cold. So our highs are reaching right around 30. And we will have those clouds breaking for some peaks of sunshine. Here's a look at the seven-day forecast. We continue to watch that storm system from Monday night into the day on Tuesday. Temperatures into the lower 30s. Get a little bit of a break for Wednesday. And then watching our next round for some snow showers as a storm system stays to the south of us. And then we pretty much stay quiet as we head into the end of of the week. You can download the eyewitness weather app. Great to have with the interactive radar. You can find more by visiting our website at pahomepage.com. Eyewitness news will continue right after the break.